14 more South Dakotans have died due to COVID-19, and the number of active cases is nearing 14,000. While hospitalization set new records, the South Dakota Department of Health is reporting that nearly 40% of staffed ICU beds are still available. But that isn't what ICU doctors and nurses in one of the state's largest hospitals are seeing. In COVID-19 Beyond the Numbers, Angela Kennecke sits down with healthcare workers to find out what it's really like on the front lines of the pandemic. Week after week, the number of patients needing intensive care at Avera McKinnon Hospital in Sioux Falls has grown. At the same time, plenty of staff are out sick, many with coronavirus cases due to community spread of COVID-19. It's the perfect storm to stress doctors and nurses and other healthcare personnel to the limit. You have the normal people that are sick with their heart disease, their lung disease, their diabetes, their liver disease, whatever reason they would normally come to the hospital. Now you add a very debilitating, very critical illness on top of it, and then you get into flu season. That's the concern, is now the pace of the marathon has picked up and can we withstand the duration at the intensity that we're doing by keeping mental and physical health. While the Department of Health puts out staffed hospital bed capacity across the state, Dr. Herrick says that doesn't paint a picture of what's really happening in the hospital. You can look at the Department of Health website and they can talk about bed capacity and they can talk about ICU beds and they can talk about staffed beds and things like that. But when we talk about bed capacity, what we're talking about is one code bed, so if somebody has a cardiac arrest in the hospital, we try to keep one of those beds available, and one open ICU bed. There were at least three or four people competing for those beds yesterday. You know, ICU beds, like other hospital beds, obviously um, do see uh, turnover in patients, and so um, I think what you're describing there is, is true in that um, there's fluctuations day to day on, on overall capacity, and it does reflect the fact that people come in and out of those beds. Those on the front line see the randomness of how this virus affects those of all ages and are frustrated by their inability to help heal more people. But we have some people that just get really sick. We don't know why. We just provide standard medical treatment. There is no magic bullet to say, hey, let's fix this and cure this. Coming up tonight at 10, we hear from Dr. Herricks just how full the hospital really is and the emotional and physical toll it is taking on health care workers. Plus, we hear from a brand new ICU nurse who never imagined she'd be on the front lines of a pandemic. That's tonight's Eye on Cutherland at 10.